4th of July! Yay! It's here. It's like kind of like the, the first third mark in summer. This is a big deal in summer, of course. Everyone wants to go out. We all have the day off, even though it's a Tuesday, but hopefully we all do. I know several people have to go to work. My husband included is working right now. Um, but he's gonna be coming home early and we're gonna be heading to a friend's house. And this morning, I'm gonna take the kids to the beach a little bit. One of the pluses, of course, of living in the ocean state. Um, but before I go, I wanted to do something patriotic with my makeup. I put on a basic face this morning, uh, did some BB cream, a little bit of blush, a little bit of bronzer. I did a fun, sparkly eye because of the fireworks, of course. So I wanted to do something with palette number one. I'll be posting a video of that later on. But I wanted to come on live to do my lip. I want to do a nice red bold lip and this is something that I feel like from the 4th of July on is so fun to rock. You know, it's just so great. You can even rock it into the holiday season. So this is going to be a fun take on a red lip. Nice quick video so you guys can head on out and go to your barbecue but put this in your mind. Put this in your mind for if you want to start rocking some red lips, this would be a great option. So I always start things off with our lip exfoliator because I have dry lips. I always do. This is a great product. You can use it morning, night, all kinds of things. It's like sugar and shea butter. So good. You can make your own, but I don't have time for that. So I like this. It's really a great size. You can just kind of spin it up. It tastes delicious. So you can eat it afterwards and let it just kind of sip. But I rub it around and I really slough off those dead skin cells because I want my lips to look flawless. And when you have kind of like the flaky skin going on on your lips, you want to get rid of it. So I'm literally just rubbing. Hi, Taylor. How are you doing this morning? Did you get your product yet, Taylor? Let me know if you got your mascara in. I'm excited to hear what you think about it. So I'm just rubbing in the, the sugar to really slough off that dead skin. And if this was, sometimes I do this in the beginning of my makeup routine and I just let that shea butter sit and really soak in. Um, I do it in the morning after I put on my moisturizer and I also sometimes like to put it on at night and then I put like a thick um, healing stuff, like a moisturizing, even like our, our um, Bon Bon, I put that on after. So a big thing with any kind of um, lip makeup is you want to make sure your lips are clean before you put anything on it. Okay, because say you put it on and you had some makeup on it, it's not going to sit well on your lips, right? So I'm just wiping that off. Nice bare lips right now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take our red liner in Popular. Mascara came in, love it. Yay, Taylor! I've got my fibers on this morning. And it is, they are a game changer. Like, I just can't even handle that it looks like I have lashes. I'm so happy. You have to send me a picture, Taylor. I'm so, so, so happy that you love it. See what I was saying? That's why I tell people all the time. If you can't say, I love my mascara, then you need to try out our 3D fiber lashes by heading to minutewithmary.com or you can message me. But like Taylor said, love it. If you don't love your mascara, we have to talk. We have to talk, guys. All right. So I'm gonna take this lip liner and popular. Now here's the thing that I'm gonna be doing. I'm going to a cookout later today. I'm gonna to be eating, having some burgers. Actually not burgers, we're having pulled pork today. Um, but I want my lips to stay red, okay? So I'm not wearing a lip stain today. I want to just change things up. And I wanna show you how you can get long lasting all day color by using lip liner and lipstick. Good old lipstick because my lips are so dry, I kinda wanna have a little moisture to them. So rather than just lining my whole lips, I'm gonna color them in with my lip liner. Now our lip liners act like our eyeliners. Once they're on, they're like smudge proof and like water resistant. So you need to be careful. You have a little bit of playing room, but once it's on, you are dedicated to that color, guys. All right, so the way that I like to line my lips is I start off actually at my cupid's bow. So where it kind of peaks here and I make a little bit of an X. Oh, got a little something there, there you go. So I go find the peak of my lip and I make an X. See, drew that way. Hi Megan, how you doing? What are you guys doing this morning? And then I find the other peak and I do an X that way. So that's how I kind of mark where the peak of my lips are. And that's how I start kind of the drawing process. And then I go on the bottom and do the same, 
just to kind of see like the basic shape. It looks hysterical and it's hard to talk. I was saying it yesterday, whenever I do my lip makeup on a live video, I feel like I'm having my teeth cleaned by the dental hygienist and she's trying to talk to me like, oh, what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know, you have stuff in my mouth. So as I showed you, I draw an X and then I do kind of like this little bottom line a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to do short strokes. You don't just like go crazy. You do short strokes to finish lining your lips. Now remember, I'm gonna line and fill in because when you line and fill in with a lip liner, it stays. This looks insane right now, but it's going to stay, all right? And I love our lip liners. They're super smooth, creamy. They're one of our lowest price point items, so if you want to start rocking a new lip color, I suggest even just trying it with lip liner. See, it's what I get. I made a little smudge because I'm talking. <laughs> I'm talking while I'm lining my lips with, you know, red lipstick. So see how I just kind of like did little, little lines. Make sure you take it all the way into the end of your lip. And then I'm gonna do that on the bottom as well. See that? Now, if I was just lining my lips and I was going to apply lipstick and I didn't necessarily, or if I wanted to apply liquid lipstick or something, I'd be done. I might do a little bit more here and then I would be done. I would put the lipstick on top. But I want this color, my base of this red, to last me all day. I want it to last me through my beer. I want it to last me through my pulled pork. So I'm gonna fill it all in. And you wanna always make sure you kinda of have your lips stretched out because if you do this, you're gonna kinda of have, um, you're gonna have spots. If you have folds in your lips like I do, you're gonna have spots that aren't colored. So always kinda of stretch your lips out when you apply color. All right, look at that. Nice and smooth. Take it a little onto the inside of your lip. All right. And sing it up top. You can color a lot easier once you've already had it filled in. It's like drawing within the lines. It's a lot easier because you don't have to be as precise. There you go. And make sure that you don't have any blank spots. All right. See, even just that color without anything else is awesome. And they last you super long, nice and creamy, but it's gonna dry. It's gonna, like, it's not that it's wet, but it's gonna really kind of set and forget it. So it looks like, I don't know about you guys, but my lips, they're just a little uneven naturally. So I'm gonna kind of fill out this side a little, little bit by overdrawing it a tad. What is your outfit going to be for the day today? I have just a red tank top over a gray tank top and a long blue skirt. My kids have much cuter patriotic outfits. But I don't I don't go too crazy. I have a lot of red, white, and blue or red and blue in my wardrobe as it is, so it was easy to pick it out. Alright, so that is the color popular in our lip liner. As I said, even by itself, this would be great. You could add a bonbon on top for a little bit of more moisture. You could add a gloss on top just to make it glossy. I am going to top it off with Vein, which is a beautiful red lipstick. See that? I do think you have amazing style, though, especially from your roadshow day. Oh, thank you, Aiden. Thank you. The, the roadshow days, I dressed up a heck of a lot more. So Vane is a nice, nice, uh, deep red. You could see a little bit of a difference. Terry, you got to try different colors. You got to try all different colors. If you want to know your best color for your nude, it's actually this color in your inner lip. That's a fun fact. Like the ideal nude shade for, for people is you look on the inner part of your lip and you kind of match based upon that. 
But if you want to start doing some bold lips, can't go wrong with the red. And let me tell you, when you have red lips, you get compliments. You get compliments all day long. Red lips are also great as like super minimal makeup because you can just wear sunglasses. So I think red lips are like a staple for summertime because you can just rock behind some shades and people be like, look at you looking so good. And you're like, yeah, this took me 30, you know, if you could just literally throw on some red lipstick or some red lip liner and nobody needs to know that the rest of your face isn't done because they're gonna think you're so put together. So fun fact about lipstick, um, of course you want to blot, blot your lipstick. So take like a paper towel or a tissue and um, blot, baby blot. So that kind of takes off the edge of the lipstick, but it's going to help it last a little longer. I'm going to do a second coat of the lipstick. Um, this helps make it last even longer. I know it sounds crazy, but blotting is your friend. And then another trick is that um, you know how people get lipstick on their teeth? So what you're gonna do is just take your pinky, little perverted, I apologize, but you stick your finger in your mouth and you pull your finger out and it's gonna pick off all the lipstick that was like on, on the inside of your lip that would have ended up on your teeth. So now I have red fingers, <laughs> but it is, you put your finger in your mouth, you pull it out, and you're gonna have all the lipstick that would have come off on your teeth. Learn blotting from your mom. Blotting is like an old school trick. Um, cinnamon red, a bit rusty with red. Ooh, I like that, Terry. Let me, um, you can even Google, Terry, if you just Google unique lipsticks. If you're thinking lipstick, I don't, what kind of product are you thinking? Are you thinking like lip liner and lipstick? Are you thinking um, like a liquid lipstick? This is, I've been like digging right now the lip liner with the lipstick feeling because you still get to have the creamy feeling of the lipstick, but you know it's gonna last super long. And then I occasionally top off just with a little bit of our gloss on my bottom lip, just to give it a little bit of shine. Little bit of shine. Knowing that, you know, my lip gloss is going to transfer. Like if I have a cup of coffee now, because I wear lip gloss, it's gonna end up all over my cup. But, I don't know, I just kinda like what the shine does a little bit more. Lip liner and liquid lipstick, yes. The liquid lipstick is so good, so, so good, Terry. So, just Google, um, cause I don't have pictures of myself in all the, lip, the liquid lipstick shades. It's funny you say that, cause actually this morning I wrote a wish list of what I'm going to be ordering next, like my next big order for myself. You know, what is it that my collection that I need that I want to be able to demonstrate and show you? And it was a bunch of liquid lipsticks. Liquid lipsticks and regular lipsticks, actually. So that was it. Uh, came in my kit, but wrong color for me. Oh, you got the, um, was it sentimental? So one thing I would definitely do with sentimental is with the liquid lipsticks, you want to scrape off as much product as you possibly can and then put it on super, super light because sentimental can come out very, very vibrant. It can be like this vibrant if it's put on thick. Um, if it's put on light, it's a little bit more muted. So I'd at least say try that. But with all of the liquid lipsticks, you're going to want to scrape the product off or even get, I like to use the lip brush to apply the liquid lipsticks. Very, very light layer. And then if you want it to be darker or darker, of course you can add more. But I find when it is a super light layer, um, it dries and then it does not transfer, like at all. Whereas if you put, if you put it on thick, if you put it on thick so that it feels like regular lipstick, um, it will transfer onto your coffee cups and things like that. But if you do it as a thin layer, it's gonna act almost like a lip stain. So that's my suggestion for the, um, for the liquid lipsticks. All right, happy 4th of July. See, I'm doing something I wasn't, I was like, should I wear a red shirt and red lips? But the answer is yes. Today is the 4th of July. I'm all about red lips from here on out in the summer. I think it's so fun to do bold lips, especially if you don't feel like doing the rest of your face. You can have a nice colorful lip and hide behind your sunglasses like I said, which is really fun. Hardly need any, it goes a long way. It does. And that's why, you know, the liquid lipsticks have a higher price point 
and someone was asking me like, oh, how come this is more expensive than like regular lipsticks or whatever? Because such a little goes such a long way. Like you have that liquid lipstick and it's gonna last forever because you just need the smallest amount. So um, that's the scoop. Happy Independence Day to all of you who are celebrating. I'm gonna take the kids and probably go to the beach. So um, happy 4th of July. I'm gonna check in with maybe some pictures later today to show how this lip color holds up because it's gonna hold up. All right, much love. Bye guys, have a great day. Happy 4th.